Honda had a great year of introducing motorcycles that people wanted more information about, the Honda Grom being one. But a standard bike with low seat height and available DCT transmission that's clutchless shifting is the CTX 700N. We tested the standard shift version and here's that story. Part of Honda's CTX series, the 2014 CTX 700N is categorized as a cruiser. It has a laid back riding position with forward set hand controls and foot pegs. A low seat height of 28.3 inches can accommodate a host of varying size riders, and it comes with plenty of tech features, like the 670cc fuel injected parallel twin. That's the same one that comes in the NC 700X. Housing that engine is the diamond shaped steel frame that keeps the center of gravity nice and low. The front suspension comes by way of a 41 millimeter fork with 4.2 inches of travel. The rear is Honda's own ProLink single shock, 4.3 inches of travel there. Now up front, a single 320 millimeter disc with two piston calipers are assigned with slowing the CTX down. In the rear, a single 240 millimeter single piston does the job. It has a very cool set of 17 inch cast aluminum wheels, which makes tire replacement choice very easy. A full digital instrumentation cluster is your information center. Now here are some things that are really great. How about an estimated 64 miles per gallon? With a 3.17 gallon tank, that'll take you almost 200 miles before you have to fill up the next time. Now we tested the standard shifting clutch model. That starts at 6,999. That's a great value. It's also offered with Honda's dual clutch transmission. So no clutch, just push the button, or put it in auto mode, twist the grip and go, add anti-lock brakes to that, and you're only going up $1,000. That's incredible. Now you know the specifics about the Honda CTX, let's talk about the riding impressions. Now before I even turn the key on, of course you sit on it. And the first thing that I noticed was the low seat height, my feet were firmly planted on the ground. That started giving me confidence right away. Then you turn the key on and the digital instrument cluster lights up and you can see it easily it just pops right out at you and then of course you pull the clutch in a very light clutch pull on this 700 cc power plant so once it got going it was super easy to feed the throttle on let the clutch out and the motorcycle just naturally took off my feet went up to the pegs and that's an interesting relationship because it's more cruiser than it is standard bike or sport bike but the feet went on there the foot peg to saddle to handlebar relationship is good because the bars are swept back so you can actually have them nice and wide and you have good leverage. The handling characteristics of this motorcycle are great. I mean, really, you can, you can feel the front end with the forks they have. The brakes are great. So you have a lot of confidence when you're turning the motorcycle, especially if you're in a situation where you needed to get on the brakes a little bit to turn the bike. So the CTX front end works really well. And the rear end also is very compliant over the bumps. Even with a guy my size, the motorcycle worked extremely well. I'd love to have a passenger on the back one day to see how it works with the passenger, but also you could put some bags on this motorcycle and it's comfortable enough with this wide seat that you could ride this thing all day long and take it all over the place. I'm sure someone's gonna make a nice windscreen for it, aftermarket or Honda themselves, so you can get a little wind protection, which this motorcycle lacks a little bit of. We took it really on roads that were just 45, 55 mile an hour, no freeway riding and it was perfect. The mirrors are wide, you can see everything going on behind you, so that's very usable. And let's get to the meat of the matter, that power plant. It's really well fuel injected. I mean, the throttle response is excellent, the drivetrain, there's no lash to it. 
it, it works really well. The one complaint that I have about the Honda CCX is it runs out of RPM very quickly. So I had to stay on top of shifting it because it, the engine's so smooth and the RPMs go up to around 62.5, 6,500, but the next thing I knew I was on the rev limiter. So, and it's also relatively quiet. It's not a buzzy engine, so you're not feeling like when it's getting topped out. So I just had to use my instruments to make sure that I was in a good gear and not run out of RPM. But that's really minor. The engine, listen, it doesn't have like, uh, you know, 1,000 cc punch performance, turbocharged, this and that. This motorcycle is designed to be easy to ride for you new motorcycle riders or intermediate riders. And so really the power is great. You can get on it, you can manage it with your RPM, and it feels fantastic. So if you're looking for a motorcycle that's going to get you into riding, or if you're an intermediate rider who's looking for a motorcycle that's going to last you a very long time, and it's very versatile, then get down to your Honda dealer and check out the CTX. Just sit on it first and see how it feels. I really enjoyed this bike and I'm looking forward to riding it again and again and again.